Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You got Crypto Chuck back here with the group Crypto Black. We're back at it again, guys. Hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. I hope you guys are having a good time uh, looking at the market today because, you know, it all depends on who you are. If you're having a good time looking at the market or if you're just pretty much sitting there, uh, <laughs> shall I say shitless. <laughs> um, you know, guys, this is healthy for the market. Don't be too nervous. It happens every September. I, we, I talked about this. Um, I talked about this actually last month in a, in a few videos. Also, I think I talked about this also in a few videos inside July as well. September is just, just basically how it is, guys. So don't be, you know, in the famous words of French Montana, don't panic. All right. <laughs> so uh, just keep calm, guys. It's just how it is. These are the cycles of crypto. And the longer you're in it, the more you're going to see these cycles and get familiar with it, and able to capitalize off of these cycles, okay? So just relax. I think Aaron Rodgers said it a few years ago. He spelled it out for you guys. R-E-L-A-X. Relax, all right? So guys, just go out there. Just be calm. You'll be fine, okay? So uh, And just do like I do. Just buy these dips. So your future self will be thinking, thinking you, okay, for what you did today. So uh, let's look, let's look at it and see what's going on. So in the last, in the in the one day, we're at 325 billion. We start off the day at 325 billion, and then we're currently sitting at 325 billion. So nothing really happened today. I mean, we're down. Let's see, 285 million. So what's that? Three, 320. I'm sorry, so 320. Yeah, so 326. I'm sorry, 326, and then we're down. We're down to 325 too. So maybe about a billion at the market, if that. So nothing really too much uh, on a one day. Now on a one week, as you guys seen, you know, 390, 390 billion out of the market, 390 billion we started it with. And we ended at, uh, as you guys can see now, we're at 325. So uh, we took a, a nice a nice little dip. But I mean, we're still above, we're still in bullish. Uh, we're still bullish. We're still above the 200 uh, day moving averages on uh overall and in, in the bitcoin so you know i won't be too nervous about it as well uh so guys let's look at bitcoin as we see over the last few days we had that support level down here at 9810 we had we've seen a lot of wicks you know it's been a lot of wicks since the third of september so been wicking we had that we had a, a one sell-off and then we had a huge sell-off down here you guys can see these two red candles two large candles here we uh we came down and then now we just pretty much you know it had that doji had a little doji right here, and then uh, got to have that handle right there, uh, the, the hammer. And then, as you guys can see here, we have this. We just pretty much getting these wicks, these little uh, tail end wicks down here, but it keep bouncing up. So if you are playing that game here, if you have it roughly around ninety eight ten, or I would say about ninety nine hundred, you can catch a few of these at, at ninety nine hundred. Then it's going back up. And if you're going, some people are playing that game. You know, they, they have it, they see it, to where it's coming down to like ninety nine hundred. And then they just catching it and then grab that one, two percent, you know, and then they selling it. OK, so if you're day trading, I mean, you have to be really skilled to try to really get that. You can see these these type of things happening. But if you're uh, if you know, if you're trying to catch the you're never going to find a perfect the perfect top, uh, perf perfect top, perf perfect bottom. So, you know, if you want to be I'm, I'm sitting sideline on this here, I'm buying these dips when they lower uh mostly in the arts i'm in i'm buying uh, on days like this because when they drop you know they're dropping you know 10 20 percent so if i can grab some ave you know at 50 cent or some dot at four dollars and you know and 30 cents or four dollars 25 cents i'm gonna by all means i'm gonna do it because i know eventually uh it's gonna be much higher uh, later on in, in the next few months six months to a year so and i'll be happy for what i did today so that's how I look at it. If you don't really need the money right now, who cares? All this stuff, you know, a lot of people like to go shopping on Black Friday or they'll run to the store where Macy's say, hey, 50% off, uh, or they slash their prices by 20%. But when they see uh, crypto or then any type of investments and then it's down by 20%, they don't want to, they don't want to buy. I mean, so it don't make sense to me, but that's how I look at it. But let's get right into it. This could be a big reason why we keep getting these uh, these, <laughs> these drops as well <laughs> over the last few days. Um, so let's get right into it here. So you see South Korean police reportedly raided Bithum for a second time. Remember, it was uh, raided last week. And, it, you know, here we go again. So been three raids in South Korea 
with two different exchanges at two different exchanges in the past two weeks. So it says Bidham has remained quiet despite the second police raid in the course of a week. So it says Bidham, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in South Korea, is reportedly facing more police raids in so and so. The Seoul Metropolitan Police uh, Agency has conducted additional search and seizure checks at Bithom's headquarters in the Gangnam District on uh, September 7th, local publication Seoul Shinmun reports. Now, a police official reportedly said that the latest inst uh, investigation aimed to uh, secure additional evidence related to existing allegations against Lee Jong-hoon, chairman of board at Bithum Korea and Bithum Holdings. As reported by Cointelegraph, the executive is purposely accused of major financial fraud involving the BXA token promoted as Bithum's native token. The BXA token has been never launched or listed. Through promoting BXA token, Jung Hoon allegedly got involved in a high scale fraud that reportedly caused investor damages of $30 billion. Uh, I'm sorry, 30 billion on uh, one, which is about $25 million. Now, the latest police raids came shortly after Seoul police reportedly conducted initial investigation at Bithum's office on September the 2nd. Now, Bithum has not responded to Cointelegraph multiple in inquiries to uh, confirm or deny the news so far. This article will be updated pending any new information from Bithum. And things like this guy scares the market, okay? Now, alongside BXA related investigations, Bithum has uh, have been also troubled recently by the outcome of the 2017 data breach incident. In early, 20, in early September 2020, a judge in the Seoul Central District Court reportedly ruled that Bithum was partially responsible for the incident. And despite the reports, South Korea's largest exchange keeps holding its position on the market. And the crypto exchange is still the ninth largest crypto exchange worldwide, according to data from crypto uh, tracking tool Coin360. Now, the reported daily trading volume accounts for about $250 million at publishing time, down around 2.7% over the past 24 hours. Now, guys, what my opinion on this, man, I want I want to hear what you guys think about this with Bit Hum. Are you guys still with Bit Hum? Uh, you guys have some uh, some assets over there, some tokens over there. Let me know over here in the comments as well. But I mean, with my my opinion here, I mean, I don't know what's going on. I mean, they got to answer. They got to let people know. People have their assets over there on their exchange, and people need to know what's going on because you don't want seizures. You don't like seizures. You don't like having your assets held up. You know, and that's the thing. That's the thing about exchanges. And, that's a, and this is a reason why, you know, you want, you don't want to keep your crypto on exchanges because at any time, you know, they can go out here and, uh, you know, pretty much shut your exchange down, whatever, whatever uh, country they're in, they can shut your exchange down or they can halt to it. It'd be an investigation, you know, and then now you can't trade. You can't pull your crypto off of it. And a big market move like what, like what's going on right now, uh, people can actually, you know, if you were looking to sell or something like that or go into USDT or get some, you know, then there you go. Or go into any other stable coins. There you go. You can't do anything, you know. Uh, well, it all depends. It all depends. If something is very severe, if they don't come in and then actually saying, hey, okay, we're shutting everything down. We're halting everything. So you want to be able to take, be able to uh, go and do your trades. If you have it on exchange for a few days, yeah, that's fine. But, um, you know, if you constantly keep it on there, then you just never know. You could be subjected to something to whereas it is a, uh, a, a, a raid or, or seizure or property and, and all of a sudden they can't do anything, right? And now your, your stuff is stuck. So guys this i don't like reporting bad news in crypto but i have to report this because if i see something where it's two raids happening in a week then it's worth mentioning and people have to be aware and i think it, it, it this here 
is this is a big reason why you don't keep your crypto on exchanges for long periods of time because at any given time some of this can happen and then there you go right and you can't move your crypto around or it just it is what it is so guys let me know what you think about this here you know my my two satoshis on this is basically you know try to keep your stuff off, off exchanges this is not good hopefully everything work out though for uh bit hum you know as you guys can see they, they are in the top 10 exchanges and uh it'd be it'd be it'd be bad if people can't really move their stuff around or do what they need to do with their crypto because it is here and hopefully uh you know everything works out fine for for everyone over at BitHum and everyone has actually had their asses over there and trading on BitHum. All right. But guys, this is Crypto Chuck back here with the group Crypto, uh, Crypto Black. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so because once we get to 200 subscribers on this channel, I'm giving out one free Litecoin, guys. All right. One free Litecoin for after we reach 200 subscribers and only way you can be eligible for that whole Litecoin is if you're a subscriber to the channel and instructions will be out a little bit later uh after we reach 200 subscribers and then and then you'll be be able to benefit from that okay i want to give it away to somebody all right go to our website too guys www.cryptoblack.net and then if you're brand new to cryptocurrency, make sure you go, guys, go over there, take the course, learn, and get a uh, get started with cryptocurrency. It will pick, it will put you one to two years ahead of the game for everyone else starting with cryptocurrency. But guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. This is Crypto Chuck here, the group Crypto Black. We are out of here, baby. Good luck to everybody at Bithum. Hopefully, we get everything. Hopefully, get everything uh, situated over there. All right, we out of here, baby.